Hi everyone, today I am so excited to share with you some touches of spring decor that I have added to my home. So I am a huge thrifter and repurposer and that is what I use in my spring home decor. I did not add a lot of changes, but I wanted to share with you my little niches of areas that I have changed to make more vibrant and alive with spring life. So I am going to take you around my home and just share with you what I have done to create a cozy, inviting, and new life, springtime, here we go type of home decor. So if you're new to my channel, I am Davy, and I do videos on simple thrifted living, DIYs, homemaking, motherhood, those type of videos. I'd love to have you subscribe and join my YouTube family. And hit the like button if you like spring home decor, if you like thrifted decor, because um, that just lets me know that you enjoy these type of videos. But I'm going to get started and take you around my little home and how I've decorated it for spring. Well, here in my front porch area, I always leave that hanging basket and just change out the faux flower that I have in there. And then I added this touch of live plant, a spider plant with a rustic lantern that I actually had outside and brought inside. Everything else is pretty traditional to what I keep in my front little porch welcome area. All right, we're moving on to my living room. If you saw my spring decorate with me video, then I um, used some of these thrifted pillows I had, plus a couple um, pillow covers that I found on Amazon, like this white one that you see here. And those are handy because you can just swap them out when you change seasons. Well, on my nesting tables here, I put this lovely vintage little book on a guide to garden flowers. I think it's so adorable, so cute, and I actually have read some. It's just so fun to have on my table and add that touch of spring along with a, another live plant and just a picture of a little family and a thrifted um, knotted ball. All right, on our love seat, this is a thrifted pillow. And then over to my built-ins. Now, this area I'm in love with right now. I've used a lot of thrifted items and I'm going to get into more detail here with it. A little faux green greenery because I didn't have all living. A lot of thrifted like ironstone, thrifted books, and thrifted milk glass and some faux succulent there in the middle. Sometimes you have to go with faux. I know it's not always great, but I just like the added touch of color that it has there. All right, moving pretty fast, but on my piano, I have a hydrangea in this picture with vintage books and this gather sign. My brother and sister-in-law handmade out of old barn wood. Isn't that amazing and beautiful? Thank you to them. And moving on to my three-tiered shelf thing that I have here. I have some living succulents that have just sprouted like crazy and then a thrifted blue glass and music is life book was a gift All right second shelf just some thrifted um, candlesticks and some faux succulent there not all real like i said all right always have to have my diffuser going and i love that so on my three hanging baskets that i have again vintage books some faux succulent in that blue mason jar and the top is a green roof that I am in love with there. So, okay, my table is now flourishing with living cut stem plants, I, or flowers, I should say. I am making sure to keep them on my table till I have my own fresh cut flowers. And then on my counter, I just added a touch of fresh fruit. The color there just adds a pop. I love it. Well, everyone, that is my tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found inspiration to realize you can use things you have on hand, thrifted items, living items from nature and make it a place you really enjoy. 
So with that, I am going to leave you and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.